Hey folks, uh, morning tea break and finished my coffee. Cat didn't turn up for a morning snack, so uh, I was thinking I might make a little video on the boulder road pool uh, that I have in my collection. I only have low grade stuff, not much. I can never afford the good stuff. It's a bit overpriced, I reckon. But anyway, I have some low grade stuff, so we'll have a look through it. So here's my collection, this bucket and this little bag. I'll put a bit of water in this bowl and wet it and take a look at it. Oh yeah, so let's take a look. Not much on that one. A little bit of colour. Uh, that one's actually what they call Yawa nut from Yawa in Queensland, Australia. One of the opal fields. A little bit of colour there. Oh, that's a nice one. I think that's from Yawa also, what they call Yawa nut. Hmm, another nice one. Could cut a piece of jewellery out of that, big enough. All right, we might go and tip the big bucket. <laughs> Some of the big bucket into the water might have a bit better luck. I've picked some pieces that might put on a bit of a show for us, so we'll take a look at them. Mm, that's a nice one. Doesn't go very deep though, just on the skin. Not a nice one. As I say, mine's just low quality. 
I can never afford to buy any of the good stuff. Now here's a good example to show you a yawa nut. It's sort of round and layered like that. I don't know much about them, but and that would you can imagine you the round part of the whole nut. And there's the interior there. Yes, enough. Ooh. Puts on the shell on the side there. So, you get the general idea. Boulder opal, I'm not sure how it forms, but it's in an ironstone matrix, the, the brown, brown part. dark that's a nice piece okay folks so that give you a bit of a look at the boulder opal might be a bit if you've never seen it before you now know what it is thanks for watching <laughs>